I know the City Hall had to go, but as I started to edit this video of a 40-year-old film of its demolition, I had to think back on Haverhill and City Hall and what it all meant to me. You have to realize first that I spent my boyhood in Haverhill over 70 years ago, so it means something to me. When they took down the clock, they said they were going to put it away and save it to use someplace else. But I doubt they ever did. No one wants a clock anymore. You see, times change. And watching that clock come down was just kind of symbolic of that saying. Times change. I used to sit with my brothers and my Aunt Mary around her radio on a Sunday night listening to Jack Benny. I understand that's not a family entertainment anymore. I'm afraid that family entertainment has gone the way of clock towers. City officials stand around watching the demolition, proud of what they've done. And they should be proud. They greeted the people, they made the speeches, they signed the papers, they did the work, they got things done. You see, finally, it wasn't them that tore down City Hall. It was us. We changed our lifestyle. We didn't want to walk downtown anymore. We wanted to drive to a mall and park right in front of the store. We watched television and we wanted to buy everything television asked us to buy. A little store like Mitchell's on Merrimack Street couldn't carry that many things. So we needed big stores box stores, super stores, with parking lots for hundreds of cars to carry away the stuff. We wanted to drive the roadways and fly the airways. We wanted air conditioning and elevators, and a building like the City Hall became useless. So the world changed, and we stand in the rubble of a changed world. If I've learned one thing in my long years, it's that we create the past and we live with it in the future. Well, I've been making this up as I go along, but now I'm stuck because I know that now it's come time to talk about the future. And as I always say, if there's one thing you can't predict, it's the future. But I do know that we are all creating the future right now. Will the future citizens of Haverhill be educated and healthy, or will they be medical and financial burdens? Will the center of your city be a hamburger stand? Will quality of life be a guiding principle in your community, or will simple economics rule? Or will you find a middle ground? As my friend Sam the Bookie used to say, it's your toss. If it's not an old saying, it ought to be. Bad things happen when good people do nothing. As I watched the demolition, I thought of the city hall as a grand old lady, resisting her destruction as long as she could. But finally, she had to give in, and as automobiles passed by, oblivious to the destruction, she fell to the ground. I know she had to go, but sometimes in my dreams I see the ghost of City Hall staring back at me.